explosion, Brent, hasn't slowed down. We're getting record-setting offenses, it seems like, every single season. Yeah, Kevin, lots of factors going into that. Obviously, more three-pointers being taken and figuring out the math of the game, but let's give credit to the players and the work that they're doing in the offseason in terms of getting better with their skill to be able to shoot that basketball and seek out the most efficient shot on the court. And for the Warriors, some kind of shooting in the backcourt for them. It's Curry and Heal. Wiggins and Green make up the post pair. And it's Moody in at the small forward position. And what Johnson lacks in size, he makes up for with determination. Even the foul can't stop him completely. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Johnson. And one thing you got to love about Johnson, his energy. The man doesn't take his foot off the gas. And Johnson drops them both. The Warriors have been trying to win a championship while also developing young talent. And Brent, that's a tough thing to do. Yeah, really hard to do because of the established players in, in front of you. you know, how do you find time for guys who are going to be inconsistent and make mistakes? Uh, that coaching staff knows how important piling up every regular season win is in terms of your positioning in the playoffs. And we'll see if this year they take another stride and those guys become more comfortable in their roles to help support the stars they've had for so many years. Six on the shot clock. Curry against Jones. Poked loose and the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Spurs. On Tuesday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Utah up against the Jams. Then on Wednesday, they'll go up against LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. And that game against Sacramento, they'll need to be at their best for this contest. Anything short of excellence, and they'll be in for a rough ride. That's tipped. Here's Jackson Davis. And the rejection by Rembenyama. And it's so hand missing. Warriors leading by 10. Curry outside. Ah, Steph, perfection from the arc. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Vassell outside. Fires the three. Warriors with the rebound. Jackson Davis has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. A nice shot by Moody. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Here's Vassell, and Moody pulls it down. Moody's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. With the drive, Victor Wembenyama grabs the rebound. Wembenyama's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Jones in the post, guarded by Kirk. And the basket by Jones. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Here's Curry with the three. Rebound San Antonio. Johnson's got his fourth rebound in this one. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Timeout called the Warriors. And they're picking up a lot of fouls 
already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. And this is exactly what a star player is supposed to do. Coming off a loss, he made sure they weren't going to make it two in a row. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. While the team is up, coach doesn't want his team to let up. He told the team to finish this game. Do not think this will be easy. We've seen comebacks before. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. The free throw drops for Curry. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. And both free throws good for Curry. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. To the paint and the rebound goes to the Warriors it's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one healed the pass to green Curry against Paul and Chris Paul picks up the foul and that'll be his third foul so far Higgins outside. Down to five on the shot clock. From the wing. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Wiggins has got 12 points in just the second half. Healed against Vassell. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning... You could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Warriors leading by 15. We've got 148 left to play in the final quarter. Green with the ball. So hands there. And Tremont Green picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. The Spurs shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. Passes it to Wembenyama. 131 left to play here in the fourth. No good that time. Golden State's gone 3 of 5 from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Warriors. 
the differential in assists led to a lot of open looks and it also helped to get um, you know more guys involved in the offense easy and they made the defense adjust but they just couldn't come up with an answer and an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10 and once it becomes official this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team they'll face them twice more this season a very solid win indeed and when you check out the box score there were some great numbers for Stephen Curry yeah, it felt like there was more than one of him out there tonight he was involved on every possession and he made his presence felt in so many ways Wiggins against Johnson Here's Sohan to the inside, and Benyama. <laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Curry deciding where to go with it. Over Paul. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Rembenyama passes to Johnson over Green. Misses the shot. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Draymond, one of the cliches of basketball is that the ball finds energy. When teammates are making shots, does that give you more energy? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. You know, when we're in the flow, the ball's just moving around. It allows me to play make, and, you know, then I just try to find an open gap and take the shots where they are. Man, it was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.